Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure and you're watching the latest and greatest train to be dang on. There's a there's a tree back there. Um, yeah, I'll fix that. Hold on. Let's cuz you know that's a hazard. Uh, yes, interesting. Uh, that one's that one appears to have grown slightly into the track. You're you're done as well, pal. Um, yeah, yeah, okay, good. Now, let me catch up and then seamlessly pick up where we left off. Uh, do a bit of this, do a bit of that, swing it around. Hey friends, I'm Colonel Failure, and this is the seamless entry to today's uh, episode. You're looking at the latest and greatest train to join the fleet. It might not look like it's the latest and greatest train. But this is a heavy mogul. Uh, yes, indeed. Um, and it is uh, it has deployed today's mod O the day. Um, which is uh, the uh, the NAFI's uh, 1890, uni 1890 Universal State Car, uh, made by Shragram. Shrag, Shrag, can't read my own handwriting. Shragram, I think it is. It will be in the collection anyway. Um, now, the reason I've chosen this uh, is because uh, for mixed consists trains, such as this one, uh, it will allow you to transport absolutely anything, as you can see. Uh, so it uses the default assets... Uh, within a state car to show that what you're uh, what you're transporting which in this case is very clearly fuel Marvelous, but it means that I can fill out the train every time so it's a little bit uh, It's a little bit more straightforward than the mixed consist trains. I've been running in the past But it means that when you've got uh, a disproportionate amount of goods waiting for you So uh, that's the El Paso freight service we've got going on there You can see it's currently clearing the backlog of fuel at which point it'll start tackling the uh, the uh, the food as well one would hope um and then uh, and then you know a little bit later profit theoretically uh anyway uh yeah i bought one of those it wasn't cheap uh but i thought it was i thought it was well worth doing uh anyway out of the last episode there were a couple of bits to clean up uh that everybody spotted apart from me uh, and where's the first one is this the first one here with my my clever, clever triple line. Uh, yes, here is the here's the first one I cleaned up. Now, before we uh, clean this up here, I'm going to give you a bird's eye view, and we're going to hit the afterburners. Uh, because this junction, uh, when all is well, uh, is really quite busy. Uh, so if we call up the... I mean, typically now, it's not busy in the slightest. Uh, but if we call up the... Uh, the <laughs> If we call it up and leave it up, you'll see there is a lot of traffic. Uh, there are many routes that go through here, uh, including the uh, the goods route that uses this uh, this outer line here on the three track, uh, the triple track section. Um, the Atlantic's available. That's a that's a new locomotive. I know it's the we use the Atlantic all the time, but uh, but regardless, uh, it's new to this series, and that's here it comes now. Look. Uh, so yes, yeah, so I did a quick uh, a quick bit of re-engineering on the uh, on the route that it was taking uh, to ensure that we weren't going to uh, clog things up too greatly, and that is now working seamlessly. Um, there you go. See, look, seamlessly, lots of things all going. There you go. Uh, I mean, the bird's eye view with the afterburners on is not the way to to really view this stuff. Uh, so we'll we'll slow back down to a walking pace and uh, uh, let's go let's go follow someone. Here we go. You'll do. No, come back. No, 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 no. You're going too fast with the Colonel Cam. That one over there. There we go. That's it. Turn the speed. Um, what was the other one? Oh, yes, the other one. I did a, a count up of how many steam trains I had running while having the uh, the uh, uh, visible on screen option selected. And uh, yeah, and as such, uh, I don't only have 18 steam trains running, I have 40. There are currently 40 steam trains on this network. That is much more like it. Uh, there we go. So that's the Orient Express with all seven passengers on board. How many have we got waiting? Yeah, Orient Express. Uh, not a whole lot. Uh, well, I've played for, by, for the best part of a year, and one would hope that would pick up a little. But it hasn't. Um, uh, are we downhearted? No, we're not downhearted. Let's have a quick look at this. Um... So the Orient Express has got three trains on it, and it's currently uh, the uh, the king of the hill when it comes to burning through money. Uh, that's okay. It's fine. It's picking up. Um, uh, the fact that we've only lost 2.3 uh, with three trains on it, that's positive. Trust me, it's positive. That's the way I'm going to spin it. What is not positive, however, is that the uh, European balloon has been running for ages now, and the demand still is not picking up. Now, it's got a 12-minute wait. Not ideal. 
Um, and, uh, and that could be part of the problem. Probably. Uh, I can't even remember which locomotive I'm running on here. What are we running on here? Here we go. Uh, this is the 3.5, isn't it? Yes, it is. Um, so, yes, yeah, so it could be that uh, the running cost of the train... Several people have said, why don't you just split the trains up and run with fewer carriages? And it's because you need the number of carriages on there to actually support... Uh, or, or rather, to pay for the uh, the trains that you're uh, that you're rocking. So, um, if that makes sense, maybe I'll rephrase that. Uh, you need to make enough money. Very good from the passengers. Yes, that you're hauling in order to cover the cost of the locomotive as well. And as locomotives become more expensive, it's more important for you to actually haul the right number of passengers. So there you go. There's that. Now then, we've got uh, this 22 year old. Uh, this is the, the Sioux Falls uh, Station Shuttle here. It's got a right number of passengers on board, but it's losing money. And I suspect that's because it's quite old. So uh, let's, uh, let's dispo and dispatch that for the moment. What have we got on there? Yeah, you're still running a horse and cart. We can, we can give you something a little bit more, a little bit more upbeat, I think. Uh, we've got the Mac or the Post Bus. Well, it's going to be the Mac, isn't it? Because uh, Sioux Falls is uh, largely in... Uh, in the, the, the uh, North Americans. Uh, and there's the electric omnibus. Uh, everyone said it was within the vehicle thing, and there was me thinking it was a tram. Uh, and it's Russian. Oh, I'll, I'll, get that, I'll get that deployed as well. Right, so let's uh, stick the Mac on there. We'll put it on auto replacement. People ask why I press auto replacement, and it's so that if I forget to do an upgrade, it will take care of itself. So I don't end up burning through uh, the profit of lines. It'll, it'll just uh, take care of itself. I, ne I never switch it on to start with because obviously I never check to start with whether it's on, off or, or indifferent. Um, so this is all about just making sure that uh, that I, I, you know, I do try and run some uh, some reasonably modern stuff. What's your problem? Why aren't you going? Who are you waiting for? I've seen this on this bit before, you know. Uh, is that we don't? I, I should be getting to my intro about now, but uh, no, we've we've got a, a bigger dilemma than that. Somewhere I am missing a signal because you, chum, hello there, are waiting for. Where are you going? If I had to guess, I'd say you were going this way. So you're waiting for whoever this is, Detroit Krakow, to uh, to get out of my way. And it is a long way before a signal block. He's just cleared the signal block, and we're off. Okay, lengthy signal block there. All right, we'll stick a we'll stick another one in there uh, just to keep things moving along. Uh, right, um, bombastic intro time. Now, I always try and give you something to watch while the bombastic intro is going on. You know, having a train going through the, the middle of the screen or some such. And I, I didn't do it this time, but, uh, you know, that's that's just life. Um, so, uh, fixing up some of these unprofitable lines is easy. So, the, uh, the Sioux Falls uh, station shuttle appears, unless I've very much missed it. Oh, no, it's here, look. Um, that should hit profitability uh, as soon as all those vehicles are replaced. Should we go and have a look at one? I'll oh, go on then. Let's uh, let's head on over. Feel the blistering speed, uh, but given that it is uh, it is fully occupied, uh, it should be relatively profitable. My goodness me, it really isn't quick, is it? Where's the next stop? Here's the next stop. Let's see if it goes. Ching. How are you doing? Last year we lost one point three thousand, and. Okay, that's that's semi-positive. If it keeps up that kind of pace, I suspect we might be uh, might be on for a profitable year. Um, but uh, you know that'll that'll crack on. I mean, the important thing is that uh, that it isn't uh, undersubscribed, and and that is definitely not the case here. Uh, but as you can see on the, uh, is this the best view that we can get for this? No, it's not. We're going to look at the balance engine here. The Sioux Falls European Balloon, right? Now then, this thing has never made me any money. What are we running on there? You are packing in 45 passengers. You have got five. You have two, and you have got four. This feels like a spacing issue to me, because um, when Mr. 45 arrives at his next destination, obviously we can't see that because everything's all over the flaming place, but uh, 
they'll come back. Uh, but when you reach the next... Oh, I'm crying out loud. Just stop randomly clicking, would you? Get all this out of the way so we can see the train. I really need to upgrade quite a lot of my uh, my road-based stuff by the looks of it. Where are you heading now? You're heading to Brussels. Right, so if we skip ahead to Brussels, which is which is not here, where are you going? If you're going to Brussels... Oh, you've just arrived. Okay, fine. I, 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 evidently, I missed a junction. We have... Uh, where are we? The... Uh, whatever it's called. The balloon. So, toward Dortmund, we've got 98 people waiting. So, th I imagine that's what we'll, uh, we'll encounter here, is a, 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 full, uh, a full wagon load. Yeah, there we go. So, you're heading out to Dortmund now. But coming back towards Indianapolis, nobody's that bothered because, presumably, there are many services that could get you to... Uh, to Indianapolis, and uh, and therein lies the problem. Uh, look at this one. I mean, where are you? You're heading towards Sioux Falls with nobody on board. Now then, uh, I think there is the potential for uh, for uh, well, either losing more money and or gaining more money by sticking another train on there. Uh, but it's uh, that. I mean, it would be what we in the trade call a gamble. I'm missing a really good view here, you know. Look at that. That's, uh, that's a bit of transatlantic meeting of the mind. There's a, you, you, you can't say I don't deliver uh, when it comes to, you know, the occasional view of trains passing one another. Um, and all of this leads me to uh, to, to kind of a, a revised agenda. Look, there's just, just, just all over the place. I've got trains coming out of every orifice. Um, uh, yes, which leads me towards a, a realisation that I had upon noticing that I'd got 40 steam trains running. Uh, and no ships is that I'm going to run with no ships I'm going to run with no aircraft this is going to be train fever um, and, uh, and we're going to see just how many trains we can get running uh, while turning a profit uh, now that means uh, a great deal of kind of uh, additional routes need plumbing in but I'm, I'm doing that already now we're not going to try and cheat by, uh, by only running little trains we'll, we'll run the big stuff as well uh, and we'll stick with uh, with all the rules as they are currently set up. So there you go. There's the next one going up to Dortmund, which, as you know, have passengers waiting. How many have we got waiting for Indianapolis? Still only five. That's a problem. That is a that is a problem. Um, anyway, look, I should just stop pontificating for a moment and let's uh, let's build something, shall we? Uh, I did, if I was playing solo right now, I'd be replacing all of my other goods trains with the uh, with the Naffy's 1890 Universal State Car by Shragham. There you go. See, I've done perfect delivery that time. Uh, but uh, that's not going to be particularly riveting to watch, although there will be an awful lot of goods train kind of action in that. Uh, no, I'm going to leave it alone for the moment, but I'll, I'll probably do that either on or off camera at some point. Instead, what I am going to do is I'm going to make Brussels happen uh, with regard to something. Maybe I can two birds with one stone here. Maybe we put in the, uh, the Brussels goods route. That'd be fun, wouldn't it? Okay, we're on. Okay, that's what we're, that's what we're going to do. I haven't thought this through in the slightest. Uh, and that, that all adds to the spirit of adventure. Uh, because Brussels, I think, is uh, should be next on my uh, to-do list. Hold on. We've got some confusion going on there. You are in the wrong place there, Euro Spinwood. Uh, show me your route. No, 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 that's right. Okay, that's fine. You're, you actually are correct. Beg your pardon, should never have done... Oh, you're a backing service. Oh, okay, fine, I'll allow it. But, you know, that's cumbersome. I mean, how many stations do we actually... Uh, the platforms do, I, do we actually use here? All right. Well, I mean, you know, other platforms are available there, Sunshine. In fact, you know, a lot of other platforms are available. And you're coming from where? You're coming from up here. Yes. Ooh. Because uh, the, the ideal here would be to slot you over onto this platform here. Because what I don't, I, I don't want you blocking off uh, hard-working uh, trains that are uh, hard-working. Right, okay, let's figure that out. Uh, we're making a detour, people, as is so often the case. I found something that requires some adjustment, and it's going to be a headache to pull off. Perfect. 
The other option, of course, would be to thread this over onto the other line briefly and spin back out again. Uh, what do we feel about that? No, that's that's not going to help us. Okay, right. Well, it, you, you know what? Uh, didn't I? I know I didn't. Okay, good. Well, that's that's something. I was about to suggest that maybe I'd set up uh, a platform with uh, with no onward route, but I haven't. So, we either have it cross over these tracks here and finish up going down there. Now I can move the red line here. I can I can move that onto the onto platform one. Or, no, that's your choices. Well, those choices stink. Uh, or we could send it somewhere else. I mean, that's, that's actually quite a nice little route, that one. I don't really want to send it anywhere else. So, I mean, you've got the, the redevelopment of all of this junction here. <laughs> I don't want to. All right, that's what we're going to do. Okay, right, now then, we need to make sure that this works. Okay, right, there we go. This is such a bad idea. Well, it's not a bad idea. I mean, I can relay all this stuff, I suppose. But uh, but even so, I'm, I'm setting myself up for unnecessary levels of, of complexity uh, here. Right, there we go, yeah. Yeah, smash all of this, because we're going to need the space. Right. Well done. Uh, are you pleased with yourself now that you have accomplished this? Delay a little bit more. Right. Now, I've never been particularly particularly good at this, you know. I mean, this, I've always struggled with these, uh, uh, these kind of station approaches to make them look good. Uh, oh, okay. Well, so there's a thought. Let's try that. I'll just uh, wait for it. Don't judge yet. Uh, yep, wait, and like that. Yeah, you see, it doesn't it doesn't snap perfectly. That bit of track in the middle is just a little too wide. Now, I, uh, given that this is a, a highfalutin station, it's not a highfalutin station, it's a regular state. Ah, oh, it's not the... If it was the bendy station, we might have got somewhere there because you can adjust the width of the platforms. Uh, but it's not, so we can't. Okay, fine. Well, you know, it was a noble idea, but... Uh, inevitably uh, flawed perhaps critically so all right let's run a bit of track out here and then uh, and then we'll uh, we'll probably delete it again in a minute but uh, it, it gets gets the old thinking uh, thinking cap on and then we can figure out exactly what the best move is toward some kind of success uh, because the, the the challenge is actually not getting the trains to go into the correct platform. It, it is uh, to ensure that you you block as few other trains uh, during that time as possible, so that you end up with a, a good free flow of, uh, of of traffic going through there. Right now, then you need to go out into a dead end platform or, or a platform that we have no aspirations to take it further, and at the moment. You've got this one and you've got that one that have no aspirations. They will have aspirations later, though, won't they? I mean, look, that's got that's got places it can go. This one has got... Interesting. Okay, that one is a redundant... Okay, this is going to be our, our end-of-the-line uh, end platform here, unless I'm very much mistaken. I don't think I'm very much mistaken. No, this all that feels that feels sensible to me. Okay, uh, I will. Uh, you, you can remind me of this later on. Okay, so uh, uh, if and when this ends up being a terrible idea, you can uh, you can remind me that I thought it was a great idea earlier on. Yeah, I know. I just deleted that track and now I'm laying it back in. And you might go, well, why are you why are you doing that then? Uh, and it's because we're we're going to get just a just a ever so slightly decorative with it. Give me something that doesn't look too ultra modern. An old concrete buffer. Yeah, rather like myself. Yeah, helps if you put it on the right way though, doesn't it? Uh, right, you there you go. Sit on there. Go, no, 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 no. Yes. Fine. That one would do the same. Near enough. End of the line, kids. No further may you travel. 
Are we bothered about them not being perfectly lined? Yes, we are. We're very bothered about that. Oh, uh, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Now, spin yourself the other way. Uh, that's not the button I intended to press there, but... Uh, there. Bingo. Right, that's more like it. Good. Now we've got a little bit of leftover track. No. Yeah, yeah. And that's exactly what I wanted, probably. Uh, right, okay, so now it's a question of allowing everyone to access all tracks. Um, now then, there will be those amongst you. I know who you are. You uh, you reveal yourselves to me in comments on a regular place on a regular basis, and you're just going to go, oh well, that's easy. Uh, you do a bit of this and a bit of that, and it's all glorious. They're going to go, uh, is it though? Now see, if all these tracks were snapped together, it, it maybe would be easy. What if I were to? Oh, yeah, a, yeah, let's put more track in there. Yeah, lots of track. Right, because what the uh, what the lots of track approach allows for is uh, is an awful lot of uh, of snapping of uh, of ballast. Yeah, I know. I'm deleting everything again. It's you, you know this is this is par for the course. You're not new here. Uh, the, at this stage of the pr of proceedings, I think there's there is no one who uh, who is a regular viewer of your transport fever video. Who is not aware of uh, of my body of work, uh, and therefore there can be there can be little exclamation of horror at the uh, at the, the the maddening nature with which I I, I put this stuff in. Uh, right, let's let's do that, and then I wonder if I could why if I could why that. You're not really leaving yourself a lot of space for for manoeuvre though, are you? And what exactly are you accomplishing? These are both both very sound questions. Uh, that actually doesn't feel quite as horrifically unsensible. Yeah, you see, not just that. I, I make up words as well as the need arises. And then, if we... So you're coming into platform one, yeah? We're not going to run you any further just yet. Uh, but there is the possibility you go further in the future. But for now, all I really need you to do is to come in here on, on some kind of snazzy angle. Well, you've got a snazzy angle available there. I see that's, that's looking quite pleasant. There you go. Snap that onto there. Okay, yeah, all right. Now you kind of go well. You've got you've got something of an abrupt uh, turn going on there, where it's bleeding an awful lot of speed. And you kind of go, yeah, but they're coming into the station. They don't need they don't need raw fury of speed coming into the station. They'll be fine. Let's take this up here as far as it will allow. See, and then you've got some kind of mad convoluted junction going on there. That's gonna that's gonna drive the kids crazy. They're gonna love it. Uh, but that should have fixed the old red line there. That's uh, yep, there it is. That's 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 sorted. Uh, in fact, I possibly was Sioux Falls to Brussels. At Brussels, I've told you platform eight, which is acceptable. That in fact, it decided that all on itself. Clever thing. Um, right. Okay. So next, this is heading up to where are you heading? You're Detroit, aren't you? Right. Okay. Uh, let's. I know. I, I'm going to I'm, eventually. I'm just going to delete all the way back to the uh, the original station. Uh, now then, I need you lot to be able to get over here onto this one here. So how about? Well, let's see how far we can get it. That might be the answer. Uh, firstly, that didn't work. Secondly, it looked awful. Um, so uh, something like that. Now that's quite a quite a, an abrupt angle towards the end there, and also it's uh, it's not really paying any attention to anything else I might want to accomplish. Uh, now what we do know is we want that to, to end up over there. Now that's that's created a really lousy angle, hasn't it? Um, all right, delete some more. What the heck? I enjoy deleting things. Uh, bring you down here onto there. Okay, right. That's a flag in the ground. That's a statement piece of track there. 
Uh, basically, the statement is, that one's coming in there and you could just lump it. Uh, right, and then this lot is the, that's the complicated one. Uh, let's just try it. Let's just see what happens if I do that. The game goes, what on earth are you playing at? Uh, this, let's start, I'm just going to try this. I, I have no doubt in my mind that it's not going to work. My goodness, it worked. Okay, uh, just a, a not going to be used in plausible Y junction. Brilliant. Um, okay, right, well, that's progress of a sort. Uh, let's take you back a little bit as well. Give us a bit more run up to smooth that curve out. Okay, now I know I appreciate that this is not necessarily where this train is going to go. Uh, I hadn't really intended to spend my entire episode doing this, but I have a I have a sneaking suspicion this is where we're going to end up. Uh, I'll buy a new goods train to make everybody happy afterwards. <clears throat> And, and maybe that maybe that will make amends in some small fashion. Uh, right, and then we've got these last two here, which we also ought to merge onto the uh, the, the mergeation megaplex here, uh, which is a phrase that is commonly used in uh, in your modern railroading or is or your turn of the century uh, railroading, as the case may be. Uh, let's do a bit of that now. We got lucky with the last one, I reckon. Let's see if we can do it again. All right, okay, we can. Oh, blow me if that didn't work. Okay, good. Right, well, look, you know, there's... Oh, look, all choices, friends. Um, uh, the other thing we're going to need here is we're going to need to be able to cross like that. But that's never going to, that's never going to happen. Um... And we still haven't solved the, the whole reason we were here in the first place, which is uh, bonus points. So if I were to take these two back ever so slightly, and then we'll cross over here. Now, now, admittedly, this is breaking my... If we cross over too much stuff, we'll just make it impossible for anything to get in and out. But I think with, uh, with a, for once in my life, appropriate use of signals, there is a chance that that would work. Plus, it's just zany. And who doesn't love a bit of zany? Uh, right, okay, yep, I like that. Um, we will uh, we'll double switch everything just in case the need arises. There you go, have some of that. Yep, why not? Sure. Okay, good. Well, that's that problem resolved. Uh, because we can now come in from here on this track... And head all the way into platform uh, 7, which is as the game numbers it. And on the way back out again, I don't know, you'd go back out on the same track, I suppose. And then you'd take the slip junction there onto the right track. Now, that's not perfect. Uh, <laughs> that's not perfect. He says, looking at a spider's web of junction. Um, so let's do that instead. Because, frankly, having more options for people to switch tracks is is great. Uh, now then, while we're out, uh, while we're about it, let's also let's also send it this way because this is the uh, the primary arterial route uh, between uh, Vancouver and Brussels, and therefore giving the uh, the option to to continue further afield is a good thing. How do you feel about that? That's just madness. It almost, it almost fits. That's the furthest I can go. And there. Okay, that fits. Crazy, baby, crazy. I love it. Um, right, yeah, let's, uh, why not? Um, fantastic. And then we're going to put signals right away. Oh, we're going to put like 28 signals across here and, and everything will be, a, will be brilliant coming out of that. Uh, and then I'm going to do it again because uh, I've had so much fun doing it the first time, and I'm not done yet, not by a long stretch. Uh, we'll roll this out here. As you can see, I've got, I've got uh, schemes as far as Grand Junction and, and Vancouver are concerned uh, that involves them requiring uh, many, many tracks to approach the station in Brussels. 
Although that said, this could also be the, the route that leads up towards uh, somewhere else. You know what? This is actually starting to look like something that might exist. Uh, don't get me wrong, that worries me probably as much as it worries you, but uh, there you go. Now then, we could, or could we? No, we couldn't. We're going to need to go from there across onto here. Now that also works. Now there's going to be a there's going to be a hole in my plan for the other backing service that I know exists, uh, where I'm going to need a, another set of points to uh, to get them where they need to go. There's not too much curvature. That's that's perfect. Go on, there. That's fine. All right. Okay. Let's try it the other way. And go on. Go on. There really isn't too much curvature, you know. I don't know where you're claiming there is, but that looks fine to me. I'm following all of your rules. Okay, maybe maybe it's because the first one was was too aggressive. We're going to need to be gentle here, otherwise we will uh, we will do something that that upsets everybody. Myself, most of all. Uh, right. So if we come round here, I, I, I forget where I was trying to get head to there. Right, this one. Okay, so if we head for there. How does that look? 30 is the lowest it gets. Now, 30 is actually pretty slow for a junction, um, but uh, we'll see how we get on as we come back the other way. And too much curvature. And that's, the, that's the snapping point for the points as well. Alright, maybe I can go a little further with it. Okay, so 26, because uh, you basically to understand the curvature, you look at the speed that it allows you to do, right? So uh, uh, 26 is too little, which means that on the outer curve here, 30 is too little. We're going to need, oh, I don't know, probably 35 maybe, maybe a little more than that. Uh, that's okay, we can we can work with this. Uh, we have uh, We have yet to completely hose this. Uh, we're close, we've almost hosed it. Uh, right, let's let's run that chap out of the way a little bit more. There you go, and then uh, oh, I quite I quite like this junction. Well, you don't have to delete all of it, man. Just uh, just delete some of it. But that's that's a, that bit is quite critical. We need that bit intact. This will work. This is this is going to be fine. And and to be honest, when we're trying to finish it off. That's where the real challenge is going to come in. Now, we can set these first two tracks here. We can set those just doing what they were doing before. Don't, no, 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 don't give me collision. Collision's the wrong answer. That's, that's not going to make anybody happy. Uh, what about, about here? Now, this is, this will possibly fight me. Unless it doesn't. Okay, all right, so it's led to a slightly unconventional approach, but uh, I'm a slightly unconventional approach builder. So that's fine, right? And then, what do we think? This one, that one gives more choices. So if we went like that, what does that drop us to? 28. Ugh, I can't see that being popular with anybody. I mean, that will fit, but it, it's a question of whether the other one will fit alongside it. Let's try it. Uh, I've got a bulldozer and it's got plenty of fuel and like that construction is not possible yeah I, I, I know it probably isn't uh, now that also I want to have a look at the speed on that section can we pull up the speed over here that's not telling me anything useful 35 all right because that doesn't look particularly straight Possibly because it isn't. So if I uh, don't really want to do that, because I don't think this is going to, this is, I don't think it's going to play ball. It is going to play ball. It's playing ball. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Okay. We got a little bit more speed out of that corner there. Um, and then I know you're sat there face palming at the moment, but. Uh, but what you're also doing, you might be looking through, you know, through fingers over your eyes, but what you're also doing is, 
I'm I am really itching to see how this is going to work, uh, because I don't think it will. Now, no, where's my where's my where's my junction bro box? Here we go. Right, you need to. It's never going to do this, is it? Yeah, I I don't know what madness that. I don't know what you're thinking. I'm trying to do, but that's not what I'm trying to do. What I'm trying to do is do that. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Let's see. I knew that was going to work because I'm not new here. Uh, right, and then. Oh, okay. That's that's actually that's kind of cool. Um, and then where? Well, at a guess, I would suggest this one. No, no, no. Next one over. This one right here. So we've also we've also got this track available. You've got a couple of options here, friend. How about you take either? There you go. That's the one I take. Right. Okay. Now let's double slip those where we can. Uh, uh, that one won't. This one will. That one will. Right. Let's see what the game thinks I'm trying to do now. Crazy. Uh, okay. Right. Well, that's that's well, that's something. Um, Okay, all right. so it's taken the Vancouver service, it's brought it in this way, and it's pulled it in parallel with this other backing service, which isn't bad, actually, but it's not what I'm after, um, because we're going to be going further, because obviously that's this this line here is a, is a clear connection opportunity to go to Barcelona. Um, so, uh, so I want to, you know, I still want to bring in Mr. Green here down in a Platform 7, uh, which is Brussels, Vancouver. Right, so there we are. There it is. Now then, how do you feel about Terminal Seven? Goes well. Uh, I can. I can certainly. I can imagine it. Uh, and then from Terminal Seven, we come back out over here, and as expected, it's taking that junction. So it is. That's actually performing as intended. Uh, right. Good. Let's leave that there. Let's call up the others. Uh, Brussels Dortmund okay that one's quite simple uh, Detroit to Krakow ding dong uh, that's over there right and then uh, Europe Spinwood oh, sorry the Euro Loop Spinwood and the Euro Loop Widdershins and then Sioux Falls to Brussels and then the European Balloon Okay, right. So that is that. That's a mighty seven routes that already make use of this uh, this particular facility. Uh, so we now just want to make sure that everybody is going the same way on the same bits of track, that we don't have any head-to-head -head nonsense going on there, and then we'll start plumbing in some signals. That's actually not a bad. Uh, a platform alignment system setup caper that we've got going on there. Although, oh, of course, because that's the the, the spinwood and the and the, and the widdershins going on. All right, fine, good, more than good and more than fine. Right, let's put in some uh, some some signalling out here. Uh, I think you're a little too close to the station. All right, now I I know why I put you in before, but I'm gonna I want to move you out a little further. Don't be downhearted. We're going to do that as well, despite the fact that that's currently unused. Right, good, okay. Now, that's the bit that I didn't really need to do because we'd, we'd already pretty much got that sorted. Uh, but getting, getting people in through the approaches is important. So even if this ends up blocking signals, I may change my plea on this momentarily. Hold on. Yeah, that, there, you, yes, you, you, you here, bad signal, bad signal, very bad signal. You can pull up to the next one. Then, good signal, yes, well done. Pat on the back signal, you. Uh, and then we'll stick one in there as well. Because the further it moves along the track, uh, the more stuff can move in behind it. So even though you end up, I mean, all you're doing is is you're kicking the can down the road as far as queuing is concerned. Uh, but the the good news is that uh, uh, you do keep things rolling 
at the same time. Now, as you can see, there is a fair amount of redundant track going on here, but this, remember, is the Vancouver line, and that is going to see a lot more action, and therefore, having all of these platforms effectively available is a good thing um, for later. And then, obviously, the same is true of the Sioux Falls line we've got here, is that, you know, platform one, it is conceivable. It could end up with a, with a service running to Vancouver as well. Who knows? Uh, I certainly don't, as I think is probably quite evident. Uh, the, you know, a lot of this just happens on the spur of the moment. Now, you've got some quite aggressive angles going on here. Which is going to cause for a bit of slowdown once in a while. But actually, the other thing that we've got going on is it's only the, uh, the, the purple, the pink-purple line here that is ever in interrupted uh, by another service. Everybody else is absolutely fine. which is quite surprising. So uh, so we'll, we'll we'll make that the one that is disturbed. So this is the the balloon that is uh, that is going to be disturbed by stuff. And then if I stick a signal there, there should be enough room for it to get out of the platform before waiting. And that should cover it for the moment. Right, let's activate the afterburners and see who wants to try this out for the first time. And it is Sioux Falls, Detroit, who are the uh, who are the trailblazer du jour there. All right, good. And all the passengers are just kind of going, oh, right, I've got to move platform. Brilliant. Thanks. Cheers for that. I just got myself a good place that was near the bench and the vending machine. Uh, although in these days it's going to be the, uh, the, the, the vending booth with some kind of vending chap or chapette uh, within there. Uh, okay, right. Now, I think that sorted the problem out. It wasn't really a problem. Uh, I, I will hear you cry. Uh, not incorrectly. The only bit of this that I think is, is not great uh, is this little section here. That's rather too aggressive on the, uh, on the cornering there. Um, but it's, it's still not the end of the world. I mean, oof, that's quite sharp. Uh, but it's gonna, it, it is going to work. And it means that with these trains no longer blocking each other, it should mean that there's no hold-ups when, uh, when, uh, when you get to this station, so you can get to where you're going a little bit more fluidly. Uh, here comes another one, look. Yeah, I know I'm running with the afterburners on. I won't, I won't do it for very long. I just want to, uh, to try a few services in and out to see how we get on. In fact, we will follow you in the other direction. Uh, to see how you get on with this new bit of junctioning that I have lovingly crafted for you. Go on, flip it around. Go on, clear off. You're done. Fully loaded. Everyone's ready to go. Choo-choo. Blow the whistle. Point your flag. Hello. There you are. Ah, right, now we're rolling. In fact, you know what we're going to do? We don't do this very often. We're going to ride on board. Uh, right, okay, good. That's going to wrap us up for this time. Uh, I'm going to upgrade another uh, another goods train. Uh, the, so one of my delivery trains, I'm going I'm to get that geared up as well. And, uh, and then we'll be back next time around. I've got some cash in the bank. I've still got a little bit of load left available. And uh, I don't know, we'll crack on with something else. But this felt reasonably uh, useful as projects go. Yeah, see, I can't help but think you should have changed track there. It really depends how abrupt this upcoming uh, this upcoming turn is, and we'll know it because we're we're no no there is no upcoming turn. You're on the right track, in which case everything you just said is nonsense, and not for the first time. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. I've been Colonel Failure. Um, uh, I don't, that was fun. Uh, it wasn't what I planned to do, but uh, but I had a good time doing it. I hope you had a good time watching it. Uh, if you did, please feel free to subscribe, despite the fact there is nobody who hasn't seen this who could possibly be left to subscribe. Um, and uh, and fling a like in this direction if you enjoyed it, and, uh, and I'll be back soon uh, with a little more of the same. Uh, stay frosty, keep your powder dry. Cheerio!